so grateful at the Institute on the Constitution for the wonderful providential year it has been. In light of this amazing holiday, I would like to give thanks for the opportunity to share the American view with others across this country. I'm especially encouraged by our American Club youth initiatives. Rush Limbaugh's Rush Revere newsletter recently recognized the efforts of one of our American Club chapters in North Carolina. In order to reinvigorate American youth, Rush featured this group that drew their favorite scene from the Rush Revere and the Brave Pilgrims book. Statistically speaking, American millennials, ages 18 to 34, their worst subject is history. Many know little about our European ancestors, the pilgrims, to whom the first Thanksgiving is attributed. These were the first Christian families to settle on the east coast of America. And contrary to modern day teaching, the main purpose of the pilgrims came to America was not religious freedom. They had already gained religious freedom 12 years earlier in 1608 when they fled England to Holland to escape the extreme persecution from a tyrannical King James I. They told us specifically why they decided to come to America in the Mayflower Compact, the first American government document. For the glory of God and the advancement of the Christian faith. The pilgrims came to America to set up an entire nation for the purpose of glorifying God and advancing the Christian faith. This radical statement united government with a responsibility to God and left a strategy for future generations to follow that has arguably brought about more liberty, prosperity, and joy to our nation in any other political philosophy in any other country in the history of the world. The first national thanksgiving occurred in 1789, according to the congressional record for September 25th, immediately after approving the Bill of Rights. Mr. Elias Boudinot said he could not think of letting the congressional session end without offering an opportunity to all the citizens of America to render their sincere thanks to Almighty God for the many blessings he had poured down upon them. The resolution was delivered to President George Washington who heartily concurred with the Congressional request, declaring, Whereas it is the duty of all nations to acknowledge the providence of Almighty God, to obey His will, to be grateful for His benefits, and humbly to implore His protection and favor. Now therefore I do appoint Thursday, the 26th day of November 1789, that we may all unite to render unto Him our sincere and humble thanks for his kind care and protection. This Thanksgiving, let us give thanks to the God of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for America's incredible founding and pray that our government would never relinquish its God-given duty to preserve our rights. This is Jake McCauley with the Institute on the Constitution bringing you the American View and wishing you and your families a happy Thanksgiving.